another beer from Sawdust City Brewery. And this one is a bit more malty, should I say. Beer, 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 ba, beer, ba, beer, beer. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to me, Mick Baruski, for another Ruski Baruski review. And today, the beer I have for you is yet again by the Sawdust City Brewing Company. This is their Old Johnston's Finest Malt Liquor. Coming in at 8% alcohol by volume. And also, again, an un. Oh, I lied. There is a known IBUs on this 20 IBUs. Looking at this can, it's a very baby blue, I want to say. Baby blue color with Old Johnston's uh, sailor's cap on the side there. Now with Hop Hash. Cool shit. Let's crack it open. See what we got. See, the closest thing to malt liquor, as I struggle with this, that I've had, which is pretty much malt liquor, is uh, Old English. Back when I got it, it was six twenty-five for a forty ounce. Drinking one of those gets you pretty dickered. Having two of them for the uh, Edward Forty Hands Challenge. Never done that, but goddamn, that seems like a bitch. But this is Soda City's malt liquor. Let's see how it compares. I've had I had that years and years ago. I bet this is gonna taste a lot better. So let's pour it up into my Soda City pint glass. Oh, wow, that's really clear. What the hell? I thought this was going to be dull, uh, dark. Dark? Dark. That was going to be way darker than what it is right now. Looking at this, it is super clear. Slight haze on there. It's not a chill haze, just a slight haze. Like, ever so slightly hazy. But a nice white head on top. Wow, that does not look anything like I thought it would be. I thought it'd be like the old English, very more of like an amber or, or a brown sort of color, but interesting. Let's have a smell. It smells like a beefed up lager, to be honest. Much more bready, much more malty. Much more grainy, like a beefed up lager, almost. Yeah, that's that's kind of cool. Wow, I was thinking it was going to be very close to uh, it's like an old English or a Colt 45 or something, but no, not at all. Let's have a sip. Yeah, okay. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, like a... Um like a beefed up lager. Definitely a bit sweeter, like a, like a sweet corn sort of flavor. Um, definitely way more sweet malty, light, like a light caramel flavor. Um, definitely much more bready. Slight, slight touch of hops in the finish, a little bit more sour, sourdough breadiness coming through on that end. But yeah, it's pretty much like a lager that's been beefed up just a touch. Um, so far, so good. Clean, easy drinking. Not too bad. But as I always say, we got to do more research. Cheers, everyone. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Sweet bread, corny, um, light touch of caramel, and it goes into a finish of like a sourdough bread. Yeah, not not too too bad. Nice and like I said earlier, cr clean, crisp. It's a lager on steroids. That's what I can put it as right now. I mean, it does fall in that category. Instead of five percent, it's eight percent. Instead of usually about ten to fifteen IBUs, it's twenty. So yeah, like a like a like a beefed up lager. Quite nice. Quite nice indeed. I mean, it is a touch on the sweet side, um, like the sweet corn side of things, but not bad at all. Looking at the can here, Soda Seed Brewing Co. Old Johnston's Finest Malt Liquor. Cool. Uh, now with Hop Hash. Description, no description on the can. 8% alcohol by volume, 20 IBUs, original gravity of 17.2 Play-Doh, final gravity of 2.5 Play-Doh. And the SRM of three, SRM being the color. Very, very light. Ingredients, 
Muskoka water, two row dextrose. Oh, sorry. Water, Muskoka water, malted barley are two row dextrose and flaked corn. That's where I'm getting the corny taste out of. Hops are Magnum, Sazaz, and Idaho 7. And their house, uh, sorry, and their yeast is a house blend yeast. Not too bad. Uh, return for refund, blah, 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 blah. Everything's listed here, except, uh, no, everything's actually listed here. Brewed on date, package on June 7th, 2018. So it was a little, it's a little bit older than the uh, Juicin and the Po Buddies Nerfect, but still a very fresh beer indeed. Yep, strong beer, 8%. Pretty cool. Not too bad. I'm, I don't know. I don't really like the color for malt liquor. It's very baby bluish, which is, uh, doesn't seem to fit the 8% intensity. I mean, you don't taste 8% in this beer either. Colors, that's just me being subjective, but it's still a very nice can uh, overall. Uh, but yeah, you can't tell this beer is 8% if someone gave this to you and you're like, oh, it, it, it's just a regular 5% beer. No, you'd be wrong because after a few of these, you would, you would be, you'd be buzzing. You would be buzzing. Really easy to drink, which is awesome. Um, definitely something will get, this is something that will get you going, that's for sure. Moving over to the website now, as I said before in other videos, sawdustcitybrewing.com and you go over and you go to their lineup for the 2018 season or for the 2018 year and you can click on this. Brewed in collaboration with B.A. Johnston. Sawdust City Brewing Company has teamed up with the legendary B.A. Johnston to bring you a brew that is highly credible and enjoyably shareable. There is something about the taste of old B.A. Johnson's finest that always earns a big, broad smile of satisfaction. That something is the result of the quality of the Sada City brewing process using the choicest hops and premium bar barley malt, now with hop hash. You'll find this beer in kick-ass beer bars and in our retail store and on LCBO shelves in June 2018. I haven't seen this in my LCBO, so maybe it goes to a few, but not all of them pick them up. Happy I went to the brewery and picked this brew up. Also, this beer is the winner of the Sessions Toronto, sorry, Sessions Toronto Collaboration Nation 2017. <laughs> There's also a video here on the website of the B.A. Johnson's Finest Malt Liquor, which is kind of cool. You can go check that out. Links in the description down below. Finally, moving over to Untapped. Actually, before we do that, it's not too bad. It's a nice, strong... I would say it's a strong lager, even though it is classified as a uh, malt liquor. Because I think it's, I think there's something to do with their alcohol percentages, but yeah, no, n not bad at all. You definitely get that corniness. Because this is they use flaked corn, right? Yeah, flaked corn. It definitely has a very strong flavor, and it spits well in this actual uh, in this beer actually quite quite nicely it's a touch on the sweeter side um but it's it's not the end of the world by any means it is a solid beer especially at eight percent you would have no idea you would have no idea this is eight percent so if you want something strong and you don't want something that is going to wreck your taste buds perfect for any occasion where you need to party hard Drink responsibly, guys. Still, very nice, very nice malt liquor. Definitely a hundred times better than Old English. Never had Cold 45, but Old English, throw that away. Get you these. See if you can get a growler of it. There you go. There's your Edwards uh, 40 hands or Edwards 64 hands because 64 ounces in a growler. But untapped. Uh, sorry, I got a little sidetracked there. Uh, Untaps has given this beer a 3.49 bottle caps out of 5, and that's out of only 79 ratings. 
not too many people have rated this. Uh, then again, this is the 2018 edition, so I'm guessing they change every once in a while. But yeah, no, uh, that seems a little low for me. I mean, actually, I don't know. I'm going to cut that part out. Oh. But yeah, pretty good beer. Not too bad. Like I said, touch on the sweet side with the sweet corn. But best malt liquor I've ever had. And I'm 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 kinda 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 happy they did a malt liquor. I mean I've never seen a brewery do a malt liquor before. Like their own malt liquor kind of thing. Uh, so this is definitely a solid, solid treat. But let's down this, get rate to ratings. Cheers in the final sip. Not bad. That might be the best. I like it. It's a beefed up lager. That's exactly what it is. It's a beefed up lager. More alcohol. Touch more IBUs. It's perfect. It's perfect in the sense that it is a malt liquor. And wow, I'm pretty blown away. It's definitely, like I said, touch on the sweet side with that corny flavor. But it's uh, it's not bad at all. It's, it's a solid brew. So I'm going to give it a solid 8 out of 10. Really, really enjoyed it. Thankfully, I've been in the can to enjoy post-video production. Um, so yeah, 8 out of 10 for the beer. As for presentation of the can, like I said earlier, subjectively, I'm not a big fan of the color for a malt liquor, but I get it. It's a sea captain, and you got to put that, that blow in for the water. Um, now with Hop Hash, sticks out like a sore thumb on this uh, blue can uh, where that's in red. Quite nice, but I do wish there was a bit more of a uh, design there. It's a little small, right? It's a tad small for this all this real estate on the can. But the information is there. Ingredients, original gravity, final gravity, IBUs, SRM, alcohol, fucking... And the brewed on date as well. Top marks. Also, with the, with the website... <coughs> You got the little video, that's perfect. You got the description of the beer. And the best part is about the website too, about the page for this beer, is that you do get a picture of old Johnston, which I think is the cherry on top. So presentation wise, gets a solid, with, with all this information, damn. Lack of a description, not the worst because it is on the website. Presentation, gets solid nine out of 10 for me. I really like the presentation of this beer and also the website, just the, the video included as well. It's just, it, it adds so much more depth, I want to say. Um, but yeah, you can check all that down in the description box below. It's really cool. Great beer, great presentation. What more can I say? If you have any comments, questions, or beers you want to review in the future, you can leave all that information down in the comment box below. If you want to go ahead and like this video or subscribe to me, Maple Ruski, it would be greatly appreciated as well. As for my question of the day, my question of the day to you is, what is your favorite malt liquor? I mean, me, I've only had really two, Old English and I guess this, and I had a, it was called a Red Bull Big 710 can with a, well, a Red Bull on it, not the energy drink ones, but a beer. Um, it said strong beer on it. I don't think it was a dedicated malt liquor. Um, but I, I hated it. it. That was actually absolutely gross. But this is definitely the best by far. So if you're a big fan of malt liquors, those old English styles or Colt 45s or something, gain a little bit more respect from your peers. Grab this. I think you'd be very, very pleased. With all that said, that's going to do it for me, Maple Ruski. And like I always say, crack a beer and enjoy. Cheers.